What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Rudy. I got the beautiful Belinda with me today. This is Coffee Conversation, so we're going to have a conversation about what B been up to. What Bel She's a good friend of mine. We go way, way, way back. Before I, even <laughs> had any, before I had any of this, she knew me. When I was just yep. a little, ner little nerdy dude playing the drums in the, in the band while she was playing the <laughs> saxophone, you know what I'm saying? We, we go back. I know a brother. I know a mama. You know what I'm saying? We we grew up together. Thank so this this is a pleasure right here to have her own. You know what I'm saying? So thank you. Um, I appreciate it. Allow thank you for having me. Allow me to introduce the song. The song I already know. This is Belinda Love Washington, aka <laughs> um, Be Lovely. She has a company called Be Lovely by Belinda, and I'm gonna let yes. her just explain what she got going on. Well, pretty much, um, I sell. $5 accessories, very affordable. It's all lead and nickel free. Uh, we have uh, items for both the men and women, girls and boys. Um, anything, Everything from necklaces, earrings, um, bracelets, hair bows. And so, yeah, um, that's pretty much what I've been, as you can see, my little earring display behind me. You got a nice um, setup right there like that. Thank you. I appreciate it. So yeah, so that's what what I've been up to. I've just been um running this business and you know just trying to you know expand and and see what happens with it. Yeah, it's always it's always about expansion. I tell people that all the time. I try to uh, myself personally, I try to add something to my line every six months. So that's adding two new items a year. Just mm -hmm. expand the brand. Cause I, I I've come a long way from t-shirts. Yeah, yeah. Well, you got to somewhere. I was just about to say, you got to start somewhere. And so, um, and at the same time, once you start, then you'll kind of, uh, it's all trial and error too. Okay. So um, it's okay to try something and fail at it. Just don't quit, you know, because right. um, this is, you know, Rome wasn't built overnight. You no, know, it wasn't built in a day. So it takes time. You got to be patient. Uh, it takes diligence. Um, and, and so it, it's trial and error. It's definitely, you have to at least try it to see if it's going to work before you just throw in the towel, towel and give up. So it's definitely, it's all worth it though. It's all worth it. Especially when you start to kind of reap the benefits of your hard work. So it's, it's definitely worth it. Do you still do the, uh, travel agency business? I do not. So, um, that works for a lot of people. Uh, it did. It didn't work for me specifically. Um, I am a pen to paper type person, and when it comes to business, I have to make it make sense, but I have to see it. So once I was, once I wrote everything out, and for me personally, financially, it wasn't making any sense. Right. So I don't stick around with something too long if I've looked at it several different ways and it's not making sense. Here again, now it works well for others. It just wasn't working well for me. Okay. So I had to kind of like, okay, I'll <laughs> set that aside. Now every every week, a few times a week, sometimes two or three times a week, I see you going live and you showing off your jewelry and you know just doing your presentations or whatever. Where did you get that mm -hmm. idea of going live with your uh, with your business and doing the presentations? Well, um, with, with, when you're an entrepreneur and you, um, you have to reach an audience, you have to start somewhere. Okay. Yes, you can spread the word, you know, locally, you know, go to your neighbor's house. Hey, you know, spread the word to your family and friends. And, but at, 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 it comes to a point where you have to expand, you know, socially. And so why not, you know, why not go on social media? and show it you know put your product in front of people um you may not get the audience you want immediately but here again that's where your patients come in and as long as you're planting your seeds you'll reap you'll sow you know you'll sow them later you'll reap the benefits of some of, of planting your seeds so if someone see me and you know and they see my product they may not jump right on the you know the way right away, but eventually they're gonna start asking questions. Eventually something's gonna catch their eye. Eventually they're gonna reach out and say, "Hey, let me get this, that, and the other," you know. So 
Um, it was just an idea to just, you know, put the put my face and, you know, my brand in front of people so that they can actually see what I'm doing and how I'm doing it. I'm a real life person, you know. So uh, what better way to have get people engaged than to put yourself out there? Okay. So mm -hmm. I know where I know where the name Be Lovely came from, but can you explain to the people where the name um Be Lovely came from? Well, Be Lovely is uh, a combination of my first and last maiden name. Uh, my first name is Be Linda. Last name is Love. So Be Lovely. But it actually was originated from you. <laughs> <laughs> you put those together, but what you did was you put my first and my last name together. And when you first called me that, it just stuck. And I was like, Be Lovely. This was many, many years ago, as a matter of right. fact. And so when you when you first called me that I was like, dang, I've never heard be lovely. Okay, because I always call myself be loved. Right. You know, that was a little I guess the little thuggish, little tight, you know, tomboyish nickname. Yeah. But um when, when that it, it pretty much came from it came from you. Um and you just kind of put my my first and last name together and yeah, so. I, don't, I don't know. I don't know why. That's one of my talents. I, I'm known for making like good titles and good names for stuff. Mm -hmm. it's, 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 a, it's a gift that I just like to share with people sometimes. Yeah, I, I ain't put much thought to something like oh, be loved, be lovely, you know. Yeah, and then um, I just kind of stuck the always on because I, I started off with uh, be lovely always. Mm -hmm. And then uh, when I started this brand, it was like, okay, be lovely by Belinda, you know. Mm -hmm. okay. And you and you can, okay, as far as that goes, as far as the brand goes, and mm -hmm. calling it be lovely by Belinda, um, it's accessories. It makes you look good. So be lovely. And right. then by Belinda. So, yeah. Like my, like, my, uh, like my go be great. I can't take credit for the go be great idea. Mm -hmm. I actually, um, this, I tell people every time I have interviews or whatever about the goal be great. I got the idea mm -hmm. from an artist. Her name is um, Ashley Marshall. She's an R&B singer. And she had a mm -hmm. song called Go Be Great. And I just like really, really love the song. I said, man, I want to do something with this song. I don't know what I want to do. So I just went out, got the shirts made, showed it to her. She was like, oh, my God, I love it. You know what I'm saying? So <laughs> yeah. It was, it was kinda, some things just kind of happened. She ain't never say, hey, you owe me for that, using that name and blase, blase. So she kind of got stake in that particular logo or whatever. So I always give her her credit first because I, I did not come up with that at all. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Well, I'm glad you didn't trade, trademark my name. That was a gift from me to you. I, I, I can have a be lovely. I appreciate like, that because I use it. I use it and it, it, it's befitting. It's befitting. Right. I, I love it. Um. That's the, just the name that's gonna stick with me through the you know to the end. You yeah, know, I love. Always, it. Like I said, like you like you said earlier, you always been be love, but your brother <laughs> is be love too, and that that nigga ain't lovely. Exactly. So, <laughs> 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 shout, out, shout out to Bernard, but he ain't lovely. Yeah. I, 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 I don't like dudes like that. You know. What I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. I understand. I understand what you're saying. So, um, <laughs> what, what's your um, what's your jewelry? Which your be lovely mm -hmm. by Belinda, that just rolls off the tongue so smooth. Be lovely by Belinda. How long have you been doing <laughs> this business on Belinda? Uh, I actually started um, last year in July. Now let me give you a back. Okay, so be lovely by Belinda is my brand. Right. Okay, so I started off with, uh, and I still sell paparazzi accessories. So what ended up happening is I, um, while I was doing the travel agent you know, independent, you know, travel agent business. I have a friend that um, we were kind of just kind of discussed because she was a travel agent at the time as well. And we were just kind of discussing. I was like, hey, have you ever really, you know, written out everything and kind of really looked at everything from a financial standpoint with this business? She was like, no. So one night we was on the phone and we were just talking, you know, just speaking in detail, you know, in great length about, you know, what the business was doing for us or their lack of uh, financially. So we talked on the phone for a couple hours that night. So the next day, we kind of uh, expound, expound on the conversation. 
And so I said, well, you know, I, I don't usually stick around with anything that doesn't make sense. Like if I'm looking at it from every angle and it's not making sense financially, I, you know, I don't stick around to continuously, you know, lose money. So right. I was like, I'm just going to, you know, go ahead and, you know, cut my losses and keep it rolling. So she said, well, thank goodness I have my jury business. And I was like, wait, what? You know, you've never mentioned this before. Yeah, what you so mean, <laughs> yeah, so she explained it to me. And so what happened is at the time she wasn't active as far as selling the jury. She's a, a jury holic. Okay, she loves her. I mean, she's always looking fly with her earrings, and then she just loves her accessories. So when she was telling me about, it, I said, "Well, hold on, wait a minute. Break this down to me, because you know I, I'm a pen and paper type person." So she's yeah. like, "Tell me how this works." And I'm kind of like writing everything out, and I'm like, "Man, that's that that sounds like a win win to me." So the next day, um, that night. I kind of like spent some time with it, you know, myself, in internalized it. And the next day I said, um, I'm about to join. She's like, no, I was like, yeah, I am. So it doesn't, you know, it doesn't take long for me to make a decision and say, okay. It made, this it made sense for you. Yeah, it made sense. And she made it make sense. And so I jumped on, I, I signed up on uh, Ju July 3rd and Within 24 hours, I started making money. Wow. Yeah. So wow. there are no monthly fees. Um, the website, my personal website, the website that they provide you, it runs itself. You don't have to worry about any inventory on your website. You know, they go onto your website, they order, the company ships it directly to them. Now, I have inventory because I like to see my income coming in from different ways, you know, right. from different Right, so people will shop my website, but then I have my own personal inventory where people can shop directly from me. And then you know, I can you know you can host parties, you can do Facebook Messenger parties, you can send uh, items with a friend to say, hey, if you go sell this, I'll give you this for free. You know, so it's like it's multiple ways that right. you can make money in this business, and you're not losing anything. You know. So that's how I started. And like I said, when the, the day, the within 24 hours of joining, I was already making money. And the kids started as low as $99. So um, so basically, you got an anniversary coming up. Your, your one-year anniversary coming up. Huh? I do. I do. I'm excited about it. Yeah. Now, I'm going to go ahead and say congratulations. You know what I'm saying? I know how that, that first year of business can be because, you know, I'm a business person myself. My first mm -hmm. year, my first year was crazy because for about three or four months out of that first year, I was I was in Alaska. You know, what I'm saying my first year I started, but you mm -hmm. know what I'm I had people helping me out like my my boy D. You know, what I'm saying of course that's your classmate Daryl Moore. You know, what I'm saying he yeah. was helping me out. He was picking up shirts for me and sending shirts out to people. I love to give my people they praise. You know, so they, out, they he helped me out a lot. Still helped me out. He still pick up stuff for me now that. I, I be doing the mobile, even though I'm not in mobile. I'll call him, hey man, can you pick this up for me? Blase blase. No problem. That's 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 basically my business partner, my silent yeah. partner. But he still mm -hmm. got, a of, he got a lot of input. Mm -hmm. So um so um this the reason I'm doing this particular style of podcast right now, because you know I got the original podcast, the coffee and donuts, which you are a fan of and you listen to a lot and I appreciate. Not but, a problem. This is more of an interactive um podcast. That's why I call it Coffee Conversations. Just a spinoff from the coffee and donuts. And you've been mm -hmm. a person that loves to drink coffee with your coffee mug. You know, you just sit around like, yeah, Every girl, morning. Like, hey, you <laughs> coffee, you just talking, you know what I'm saying, chopping it up. Just, you know, we just friends here just talking, talking about, but we're just talking about business. But what I really want to focus on is uh, how do you feel about the sharing of other people's, like you got to always share your business stuff, even though I don't actually buy, any, I hadn't bought anything. I'm not gonna say I don't buy anything. I haven't bought anything. Mm -hmm. but like, I got a, I got a friend that she do, she, she does, she does uh, tutorials for like hair and stuff, how to fix the wigs and all that. Mm -hmm. I don't wear wigs, so but I still share a video. So do you think mm -hmm. sharing other people's stuff is important to help their business when you're not directly financing the business by um supporting it financially 
Absolutely. I mean, support is support. Okay. You don't have to personally purchase from a person by you sharing, you know, my content that's reaching that many more people that I couldn't reach personally. I mean, I mean, we don't share all of them. Our friends aren't your friends. All of your friends aren't my friends. Right. So yes, absolutely. That support, that support is super important because you are putting my face, my brain in front of people that I wouldn't be able to reach myself, you know, ordinarily. So it's very important for people. I mean, it's room at the table for everybody. I mean, it's, it's, it's enough room. The sky's the limit, you know. And so I think it's very important for even if you don't, even if you do not directly purchase from a person, that support of sharing, spreading the word, it's just as important. It's right. just so absolutely. It's, it's definitely it's it's a it's a big part of it. It's a big let me, part. Let of me it. tell you what one of my marketing tricks is. It's not really a trick, but what I kind of learned, like I said, everything is like kind of trial and error. Mm -hmm. You have actually done it yourself, so I always like I'll just say when I when I sell you shirts, and I'm like, hey, when you get your shirt, when, whenever you put it on, take a picture of it, post it. Mm -hmm. I don't want to be like you just like oh let me take a picture and pose and put it there even though that don't matter but I want you, I want you to kind of be like your natural element like oh I'm at the park with my husband we got our shirts on people asking about our shirt let's take a picture and then you know mm -hmm. that kind of shows me that oh this and then when I then when I see a random picture where it's like you didn't you just posted it but it was like months or years later you still rocking the shirt that made me feel good because of the um continued support and it's actually. My shirt now is a part of your life and is a part of your regular rotation, you know? Mm -hmm. probably, probably feel good with somebody like, girl, I got my bracelet on today with my earrings and my, my I got my whole full set on. Like, oh, take a picture of it. Take a picture of it. But then you notice, like, oh, they go to, like, a big event. And they're like, well, let me put this Be Lovely um, accessories on to set my outfit off. That makes me feel good on the inside. I don't know about you, but I feel good when I see stuff like this. Oh yeah, I do. I do, and especially when uh, when when a customer comes back and says, "Hey, I had this so and so on, and I got so many compliments." I mean, I didn't get that compliment, but it still made me feel good because why? Because those compliments made my customer feel good. Right. So if my customers are happy. They're feeling good. Guess what? The lender's feeling good. So yeah, I, I definitely understand what, what what you say, what you mean when you say that. Yeah, because I see, because with you, with you knowing me, and we be like I said, we said earlier, we know, we know each other, we've been knowing each other for a long time. Mm -hmm. You know I me, mean? I ain't never been a real talkative person. I was always kind of in the cut, kind of laid back, but observing and stuff. You know what I'm saying? Just kind of yeah. keeping the scene, make sure see who cool and who kind of shady or whatever. Just kind of play the back, but. Now with the with, now that I'm doing the clothing, I'm interacting with a lot more people I probably would have never interacted with. Mm -hmm. I, I, I sold shirts in places I ain't never been, might not never go, you know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. and then I, mm -hmm. I, I made a, a video, I think it was last week, and I was like on my podcast, somebody from Ireland was watching my podcast. Oh, wow. They were, oh, correction, they were listening to my podcast on, on, the, on the, the audio part, not the video part. Mm -hmm. I, I, I look at the something I try to I try to tell myself don't look at the numbers just keep working keep working. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you kind of want to peek at them stats and be like how many yards I got in this game, coach, right now. Yeah. Ninety nine. I need a hundred. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. so, but I saw Ireland. And I was like, oh, it don't matter now. I'm, I'm international now, so it don't even matter no more. It could be one person in Ireland. I'm gonna rock out <laughs> for that one person. That's and right. Then I, I got my United States fan base, and then I got um. Puerto Rico, which is still part of the United States, but they listed separately as, you know, Puerto Rico or whatever. So I tell people all the time, celebrate all your victories, even the smallest mm -hmm. victories. Yes. Like, like with, as, as using a football reference, um, if somebody get a first down, they be like, yeah, first down. They're celebrating the first down because the main goal is to get the touchdown. Mm -hmm. and then the mm -hmm. final goal is to get the win. So you got to celebrate mm -hmm. those minor wins so you enjoy the bigger win at the end of the day. Absolutely. I totally agree. Totally so, agree. So um let me see. Let's talk about some um some other stuff. I know you used to be uh big into um photography. You still do your photography? I still do it per for personal re for personal right, right, right. reasons. Um yes. I love it. That's still a passion of mine. Um so all of my jury staging and 
and putting outfits together and staging my jewelry with it. That's all that falls in line with photography, you know. So I, I still have a passion for it. I, so I, 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 I use that to where, where did that passion for photography come from? Honestly, um, I felt that internal, not necessarily itch, but it was like self gratification when I think my daughter was about four years old, maybe five. We were at the park, and um, she was like, she was always this little person that had like these intense looks on her face, like she was just deep in thought. And so uh, she was just sitting there and she was like just deep in thought. And I had a, a, it was like a profile. I was sitting on the side of her and I snapped the picture and immediately, immediately right then, I just fell in love with, you know, the idea of capturing, you know, oh. those moments. Mm -hmm. right. So that's where it all started for me. Yeah. Cause I mean, before then, I mean, I, I mean, I didn't really, you know, I would take a picture, but it wasn't, it, it had no, meaning or no type of emotional attachment to it you know right. and then yeah after that it was just like man nature you know all that stuff it, it has meaning behind it you know yeah because you know i don't know if you know i got i've been getting into photography myself too i take a lot of pictures and do a lot of picture editing and stuff you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. i did it because one day i was just bored at work and i was like man this is like a beautiful scenery that nobody probably might not ever see this where, I, where, where we come from, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. there people, it's a lot of people that we know and we might not know that's from Mobile that probably never left Mobile. They mm -hmm. don't know like outside of Mobile. They think going to Prissy is going out of, out of town. Mm -hmm. And so mm -hmm. I'm like, man, I'm, I was working at a golf course. I'm like, man, this golf course is like, so look at these perfect greens that I've been cutting all day. Look at these lakes and ponds and, you know what I'm saying, a little different stuff. Mm -hmm. I start taking pictures of it. And then just like spicing it up, adding like a little ray of sunshine beaming down on the grass, and you know, just, just having mm -hmm. fun with it. So, but I actually picked that passion up because I, I um also have a passion for doing film now. You know, I did my documentary, I did mm -hmm. my senior documentary, which was like D helped me a lot with that because my car was broke down at the time, so he'll just take me around to interview all these people, and I'm just like videoing everything and taking pictures of everything. I'm, I'm in the mall taking pictures of shoes and. Just trying to build build up that portfolio. I, I didn't use all the stuff that I that I shot and filmed. I just used the best of the best, you know. Mm -hmm. so, but we get our, we get our different like our different passions. Like I had a, I got a, I got a, still got a passion for music going back even when we was in middle school band. Mm -hmm. I hadn't mm -hmm. I hadn't picked up a pair of drumsticks in a long time, but I still I can hear I hear stuff that. The average normal ear would they hear. wouldn't hear it. Like, yeah, oh. like, you, hear you hear that trumpet section, man. They got a lot of you know. That's that band head. <laughs> so, but um, yeah. but let them tell the people how they can um contact you, how they can buy some of your your, your stuff. I know this is the part you've been waiting for. This is the pro. Yeah, of course. Hey, go get, go get <laughs> you know what I'm saying. So I'm telling what's up, B. Yes, so you can either shop on my personal website directly at BeLovelyByBelinda.com. That's B-E-L-O-V-E-L-Y-B-Y-B-E-L-I-N-D-A.com. That's all one word. And then you can connect with me on Facebook, and that's at BeLovelyByBelinda. And then if you want to send me an email to ask me questions about um, how you can become an entrepreneur, you can contact me at BeLovelyByBelinda at gmail.com. Or you can contact me at 256-617-7287. You can send me a text or call if you want more information on either purchasing for, you know, as far as gifts, I can become your personal stylist because here again, it all goes hand in hand. Um, or if you are looking for that additional income and, you know, you want to start, you know, to build an empire, I can help you out with that as well. And that's how you get in touch with me. Okay. Um, why don't you just reach behind us and, and show us some of your some of your stuff? Show show, show, yeah. show, girl, show what you got. Yeah, so, yeah, so this is just a little small portion of what I have. This is my earring board. And um I have everything from um I have small and kind of dainty earrings, and then I have your um these are for the minimalists. 
And then I have your bow. If you like really, really want to make a statement, I have earrings, you know, and necklaces that, you know, makes a really bold statement. And then I also have clip ons. I can't reach clip ons because they like back here. But I have clip ons. Um, like I said, I have I have jewelry that will, you know, either make a statement or it's kind of comfy, you know, couture. Like you just at home, you're chilling, you're relaxing, but you still want to kind of look like something. You can just throw in a little pair of little cute little earrings with your T-shirt walk around the house, you know. So I, I have, that's what I have within arms, within arms. So, you got, so basically you got, you, got, you got earrings for every occasion. I do, I do. And I also have, I don't know if you can see, but you can't see behind me, but I even have um, jewelry for men. I have wristbands for men, I have chains. Um, so uh, check that out now on, on my personal website. I'm not, I'm, not I'm not a big jewelry guy. I got like, people always buy me watches for Christmas that I never wear and never end up, I'll be losing them and stuff. <laughs> Okay, but it's okay. That's okay. Uh, Somebody who's person. listening who might who might be interested in jewelry, who loves jewelry. But um they have um like little wristbands for for, for guys and uh that would be under the, the uh uniquely urban tab on my website. That's mm -hmm. it's uh be lovely by and then when you go searching through the different tabs, you know, you'll see necklaces, earrings, bracelets. Then you'll see uniquely urban, and that's strictly for the males. That's the section for the males. So nobody nobody gets left out of this deal. Nobody is left out. We even have little hair bows and little, you know, headbands for girls. So yeah, we have little studs for them for, for little boards. We have like um ne not necessarily like the metal. But we have like leather bands and um soft bands for like little boys and for men who doesn't necessarily like the silver or the gold chains or bracelets. And we have like the uh, wristbands for for men. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man. Um, Belinda. I yes. appreciate you for coming on and tapping in with. I know we had our technical difficulty that people probably don't know about what happened right. before we got on. It happens. It happens, and look, who who else better to, to have those technical issues with? I'm not going to judge, so you know, <laughs> but I appreciate you having me, and I, I appreciate you letting me use your platform to, you know, spread the word and to, to share what I have going on. And, and, for those, and for those that don't know, I did do a, a, a promo video for Belinda that I'll be on. Um, you, you can go to the No Hesitation Films um, YouTube page. You can All her information is there. I'm gonna still reshare all this information. I'm gonna re, I'm gonna re-release this video for the people who are not on the live right now. That it, okay. they can watch it again and they can get all okay. this information. And I'm gonna put in all the information in the description so y'all know we gotta get y'all be lovely accessories from you know. Absolutely, absolutely. And I also want to say that um, if you, um, if the women are looking for like a um more uh, upscale, we do have a more of a signature line and that's our Z collection and that's um uh, it's it retails for twenty five dollars. <laughs> uh and uh that's for like if you just like you really feeling spicy, like you, you really feeling sassy, that's our high, higher end and it's the Z collection. So but um even our five dollar jewelry is like even like my earrings we have you know wood earrings we have the little snake prints and animal prints. So yeah. You got, you, got lot, you got a lot of you got a lot of treasures in that toy box, Belinda. It's a whole lot. It's a whole lot, and for everybody. So that's the good thing. That's the the joy of it all. Yeah, you sound like you, you sound like you're really enjoying doing this business. You having fun with it. You get to play makeup and dress up you're just like a little kid, but you get paid for it. You know. Absolutely, absolutely. Yes, I love it. It's my passion. That's good. It's like it's like once you find that once you find the passion for it. It's almost like it's not work. It's just it's fun at that point, you know. Mm -hmm. And you're making money while having fun. What well, I mean, yeah. that's a win-win right there, right? Yeah, that's a win-win. <laughs> you know? like, if I can get paid to have fun, boy, it ain't even work no more. That's right. That's, that's right. right. My, my, I'm a, I'm gonna leave this on this note right here. My dad always I love to quote my dad. He had the funniest quote, but they be so real sometimes. But mm -hmm. it's, it's not an original my daddy quote, but I heard it before. He said, "When you find something that you love." You would do it for free. It's not even like work no more. 
Mm-hmm. But we ain't trying to do no free stuff. We're trying to get paid and have fun. We want both of them. Yeah, we want the best of both worlds. Well, <laughs> we're going to go ahead and wrap this interview up. This has been Coffee Conversations with your boy, Rudy, the lovely, be lovely, Belinda, love, Washington. <laughs> I appreciate you for coming on. Thank you for having me, Rudy. Yeah, I for being your, your virtual hug, you know what I'm saying? Yes. We've been friends forever. We're going to be friends forever. So we, whenever whenever you whenever you share a post, I'm gonna make sure I reshare that post and I'm gonna actually I actually consider you now to be an official sponsor of coffee and donuts. So no I'm I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna shoot you a, a different version of the uh the commercial once the once Mother's Day passed by. I did, I did this mm-hmm. specifically for Mother's Day so they can get their accessories and stuff for their moms and stuff. But after that, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm going to reshoot it, make it a little bit more fancy, a little bit more, you know. But I'm going to make sure that, see, Belinda, a lot of people don't know, she took advantage of my Promote with Rudy, Promote with Rudy um campaign where I said, you just send me $5 and I'll promote you. I'll promote your business. I'll bring you on. We'll have an interview. You can talk about your business. And it's only $5. You only got to pay the $5 one time. And that whole week mm-hmm. is your week. So, this week is Be Lovely by Belinda Week. And Yay. Next, week, <laughs> next week, y'all tune in next week. I'm going to have an author, a poet, a good friend of mine. He has three poetry books out right now. His name is Court- mm-hmm. Arthur Cortland Morrison. We're going to talk We're gonna talk to him after the Mother's Day weekend. And we're going to start that week off fresh. So, like I said, again, it's been Rudy. Thank you, Belinda. This has been Coffee Conversations. We out. Bye.